สวัสดีครับท่านผู้ชมรอเรือของท่านเป็นยังไงบ้างครับ Now that sounds a bit crazy, doesn't it? But this is actually how many um, Thais will tell foreigners that they should pronounce this r o r e a s a n Now the r o r e a this is the R letter in Thai, so I'll just write it here. r o r e a and it's equated with this. R letter that we say in English, except that they say it's a rolled R or a trilled R. R o r e a Now, what happens in that next very breath after saying that to the foreigner, you need to say r o r e a s w a k d i k r a p and then they'll go and speak with each other, and this r o r all of a sudden turns into a l a sound. Now, what's happening? Now, just to prove it, have a listen to this. I've recorded a native Bangkokian. Um, pronouncing the letter um, as though they would pronounce it in normal circumstances without foreign ears listening. รอเรือรอเรือรอเรือลุงไม่รู้เรื่องลุงไม่รู้เรื่องรอเรือรอเรือรอเรือลุงไม่รู้เรื่องลุงไม่รู้เรื่อง So there you have it. You heard it yourself. รอเรือรอเรือรอเรือลุงไม่รู้เรื่อง Lung me lu leung. Now the reason why I chose that sentence is because the word lung actually uses the L, lung, and me lu leung, lu leung. This is, should be ru leung, but it comes out as lu leung. If you get a chance, go back and look at the mouth when it's being pronounced. Lung me lu leung. It's almost the same, but what actually happens is the tongue will come up almost um, to that hard palate there and just kind of tap it, but not really press down hard. So รู้เรื่องรู้เรื่อง You can hear it's actually very light. Now, if you want to emphasize it, รู้เรื่องรู้เรื่อง It might have more pressure as it taps off of that hard palate, just there behind the ridge of your teeth. Um, only when you're forcing it. Now, Thai news readers need to get accreditation to read the news, and they must pass the รอเรือ test. They must have beautiful รอเรือ s and พูดชัดมาก Speak them. Pronounce them very clearly, very well enunciated, and it goes. It becomes so unnatural a process to consciously being uh, thinking of these r o r e s that sometimes the l a l i n g the l turns in it turns it to into a r o r i n g d o i But we need to get used to. Okay, if um, we're going to be um, giving a presentation. We'll give a nice r o r e but if um, with a rolled r. But in normal speech, it's just this r o r e Now in English, we have a different um, two different l's. We have the l in lip, lip, lip. Say it with me, lip, 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 lip. Now look at my tongue, lip, lip. My tongue in lip is in the it just poking out a little bit from the teeth. But in the word peel, peel, peel. Look at my tongue, peel. My tongue is just curled up behind my teeth, lip, just outside my teeth, peel, lip, peel. You see, we have two different L's in English, and in Thai, it's neither of them. The R and the L are both this light flap just on that hard palate there, and sometimes it won't even make it. So, r o r e a r o r e a r o r e a It pushes up into that artificial one. Now, why do Thai say that it's a r? Well, traditionally, we have to look at where it came from. Have a look at this. This is where Thai came. This is um, the genealogy of Thai, and um, this is I've rebuilt this model based on some of the models from Marvin Brown's books, and I'll be doing a lot of a lot more clips based on fantastic stuff from that. But we have Yunnan here, and this is about um, probably about 9, 10 A.D. Okay, with with the Yunnan, and then it's split. We have this split into the Sukhothai branch and the Yunnan branch. Now, Sukhothai, it's really interesting. If you go to the south of Thailand, you notice that all these southern dialects, because the um, you had the military and uh, the generals and everything go down there in the south, but this southern Thai branch of Thai is much more similar to the Sukhothai branch, and this is from um, the Sukhothai, probably from after 910 to the 1200s. Uh, in Sukhothai, and you see even to today in Drang, in Nakhon, Gabi, k o t s a m u i all these versions of Thai are much closer to that original Ramkamhang, uh, King r a m b a n g h a n g version of Thai than what we have here. Have a look here. This is Bangkok. Now, before Bangkok, um, we've passed 
from Yunnan to the, this Chiang San. Now, in this period here, this is what we call the Great Tone Split, or the first Great Tone Split that Marvin Brown writes about in his books. Um, and then we notice the tones almost going in an opposite direction than this branch. And they come down, many things happen to the consonants. Then we come down into this Ayutthaya branch. Um, and I'll show you, and then we're interested here then in the Ayutthaya and the Bangkok. Now, if I come to Ayutthaya, I've got their sounds here. Um, now you notice this is very similar in Ayutthaya to what we have as the standard sounds in um, Central Standard Thai that is taught in your books. Um, the high class, pa, ta, ha. Um, and you notice these ones with the um, the ho hip masking. They're also like in the words mai. These were original sounds in traditional Thai. Now you've got to remember in Ayutthaya before, um, say 1350 to 1500, before that they didn't use what we know as the Thai script to write. That was only brought across from Sukho Thai that wrote their version of Thai. And it was then transferred to Ayutthaya probably between 1350 and 1500. Um, so before then, in Ayutthaya, they didn't have um, this writing system. Here in 1650, they did, and the ra was equated to that. But already, this ra, if we have a look at Bangkok time Thai around then, have a look here. Now, these according to the phonetic um, transcriptions and analysis on Bangkok Thai, original Bangkok Thai, the, pronuncia the pronunciation of words using what we would spell now with ra is a la, so it would be la lua. So when you hear people in Bangkok say la lua, they're saying the L, la lua. It's actually an L, um, the same as la ling. These two the, the way your tongue sits is identical in traditional Bangkok Thai. Now there's a dilemma because Bangkok Thai um, has been taken as the standard because Bangkok just happened to become the capital. So out of all the hundreds of dialects of Thai that you see in um, this genealogy, um, genealogy tree, um, it just happens that because of where Bangkok was located and, and now just um, this became the central version or the standard version of Thai. But um, you have the class, you have, you know, Thai is a very stratified society and people who speak well want, um, want to speak according to the written Thai and this Thai that was developed for the Sukho Thai version. Now in that Thai version, your ra ra was a nice rolled R. So this R has been forced into um, the central standard Thai as uh, down here you can see the R, the R sound. But in reality, if we have a look at the original Bangkok Thai, nah, it's actually a L. Now, actually, if we have a look here at the central standard Thai, there are some other sounds here. For example, the word Kwai. If I say Kwai like buffalo, um, you can see it's spelt with this kawa. I write it up here. Kwai. Kawa ayo. Kwai means buffalo. It's pronounced k in IPA, uh, aspirated um, k, and then a wa a e. Kwai. Now, what happens in real Bangkok Thai? Well, let's have a look here. What? Keep your eye on this um, cell down here, okay? I'm going to switch to Bangkok Thai now. I just bring my mouse down. Look at that. This Bangkok traditional Thai. Now, this is the Thai that was spoken way back then. The kwa sound is pronounced as a f. Okay? F. So, this word kwai, if we come back to central standard Thai, where I wrote just now, kwai, now that k becomes a f. And so in Bangkok Thai, that becomes. Fi, and you'll still hear people, especially the older generation and real, real, true native Bangkokians, they might say the word kwai as fi. They might say the word maikwat. Let's have a look here. Gawa in standard Thai, maikwat means a broom. But if we come down to Bangkok Thai, what happens? This gawa is a, also a fu. So maikwat becomes maifat. Now in southern Thai dialects, you might get this kwa to a for, and this happens all over the place. In Chinese, it happens. The word kwai, meaning fast in Mandarin, in Cantonese, fai, so kwa to fu, probably because it goes back. Hu, 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 hu. You see that? This is a normal shift. 
Now, Thais will look down on people who say the word kwai as fai and maikwat as maifai, but actually, this is just the traditional change in the traditional um, Bangkok dialect. Now, in Central Standard Thai, though, these sounds are the preferred sounds, and we'll be getting into that in another Thai bite, why those sounds were structured the way they were and how they came across in the tones from the Sukho Thai to be what they are today. I'm Stuart J. Raj, and this is Thai Bites for Cracking Thai Fundamentals and J Academy. Sawadee so crap.